Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Arlene. Today we're making something summer worthy. We are making my version of a Tex-Mex chicken salad. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the summer. Let's do it. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. I'm gonna run you through the ingredients really quick. I have half a cup of Hidden Valley light ranch dressing. This half a cup, we're gonna add one tablespoon of reduced sodium McCormick taco seasoning. And I buy the one that it says reduced sodium. I have the original, but you can use hot or mild, however you like. I have 14 ounces of uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast, and we're gonna cook them. We're gonna do two cups of lettuce chopped. I usually like to do romaine, but we're in a romaine recall, so we're gonna use iceberg. You can use any other lettuce you want, but for these, I like to keep it semi-looking like a Tex-Mex salad. So, two cups of iceberg lettuce, half a cup of tomatoes, and I'm gonna dice them, half a cup of cucumber, a quarter of a cup of scallions or green onions, quarter of a cup of cilantro, if you don't like cilantro, omit it completely. There's no reason for you to put something in your meal that you're not going to enjoy. What's the point of it? So, but if you do, a quarter of a cup of cilantro and two teaspoons of lime juice. I am going to chop all my ingredients and measure them and I'll be right back. Be back in a moment. Okay, I have all the vegetables cut up and measured and I have the 14 ounces of chicken breast and my skillet is already warm and I have one tablespoon of olive oil in there. We're going to throw in the chicken. That's the sound you want. And we're going to cook this completely. I cut the chicken like into one inch bite size. This is gonna be like a chop it and drop it salad. Mm, it's pretty high heat. We're just gonna cook this completely. Once it's cooked and brown, we'll be back and show you the rest of the recipe. Okay, the chicken is cooked and as you can see, every little piece is crunchy on the outside, but it's gonna be very moist on the inside. That's my secret for having boneless, skinless chicken breast uh, stay moist on the inside. The smaller you cut your chicken breast, the faster it cooks and the less chance it has to dry out. Let's go back into the counter and get the salad together. Alrighty, let me show you the chicken really quick again. Look, it looks beautiful and it smells amazing. Okay, let's get this party started. I have the half a cup of the light Hidden Valley Ranch dressing and we're going to add the tablespoon of the McCormick. And this is what it's going to give it the Tex-Mex flavor. I ha I've had this forever and I keep using it and using it because we use so little of it. Okay, and we're going to mix this really good. And this is what it's going to look like. It's kind of like an orangey color, but it smells Tex-Mex. Okay, I have the two cups of lettuce and I have them chopped and rinsed and they're completely dry now. To that, we're going to add the half a cup of tomatoes and the half a cup of cucumber chopped. The cucumber, I took some of the uh, skin out just because I don't like the skin too much. But if you like the skin, leave it. Here we go, we're gonna drop everything now. And I have the quarter of a cup of scallions on the bottom and the quarter of a cup of cilantro chopped and also rinsed. See, it looks Tex-Mex. And if you don't like cilantro, I was thinking, you can always uh, omit the cilantro and do um, an avocado. Totally acceptable. But the cilantro, I'm telling you, I know I grew up eating this stuff, but if you have never had it, put it in your salad. Chop it really, really, really fine, and you'll see. It gives it a, a nice Spanish flavor. 
I think that's that's what it is with this salad. Okay, everything is combined. We're gonna add two tablespoons of lime juice. If you don't have lime juice, I'm sure lemon juice would be fine. We're gonna add our chicken. Oh my goodness. I know I say it all the time, but it looks pretty. And it's going to be crunchy and you're going to have all, all the components that you always crave. The chewy, the soft, the sweet from the dressing. It looks beautiful. And then if you're going to take this to go, what you do is you just package, put it in your little either Ziploc bag or Tupperware, uh, refrigerate it. And then once you get to work or home or wherever it is that you're going to go, take your salad out and throw your dressing on top. I'll show you a picture once it's done. We'll be back. Okay, I mixed everything, including the dressing, and this is what it looks like. Tex-Mex chicken salad. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Enjoy.